Hello and welcome back to episode 6 on the Odyssey Rising SMP. Glad to have you back. First off, we're going to get started with a little tour. Some of my time lapses got corrupted, so we're going to go straight to it. So over here we have finally finished our greenhouse. I think it looks pretty cute. I don't know about you. Let's go inside and see. So don't mind the villager. Look at all the beautiful butterflies and we put in a lot of flowers and stuff just to make it look like it's an actual greenhouse. We're going to come in here and breed the butterflies to get uh, butterfly elytra shards so we can make butterfly elytra all fancy fancy. So let's go to the next spot. We got a slight warning about a mistreatment of villagers and a threatened to be lawsuited against on behalf of them. So we started building some little villager houses here and making space for all of them. Very humane. It's a very cute setup. Hello, buddy. Now, we're going to end up doing a whole bunch of these, but this is just the start. Ooh, good job, Panda. But yeah, anyways, we'll go in and take a little quick peek. These guys seem pretty happy in here. All of the stonemasons for all our trading needs, all in one spot. I think the buildings turned out pretty cute. I did use references from Animal Crossing again for all the colors. Hello, buddy. <laughs> This guy likes fish tanks and cakes, so we made his, oh, and he has his little lectern. <laughs> but yeah, so keeping to the same theme, we have two, we have our uh, weaponsmith and our toolsmith in this house. They have a little panda shrine, or <laughs> polar bear shrine and some beds and stuff. Nice and cozy, guys. But yeah, so eventually we're going to make houses for all the rest of our villagers that are underground at the moment that way we don't get a lawsuit i also did the paths joining onto the other path here let's go head over to the house because now that all the villagers moved out of the house i finally finished the bedroom up here i can't wait to show you oh yeah i put in a tree here too just to make it look a little nicer and we got New, the new Mobian's head. He finally came to join us. Woo -woo. So yeah, let's go upstairs and check it out. Ah, it's finally finished. No more villager spots in here. <laughs> I got all my armor stands, clothing, and stuff in here. Oh, and this, some fan art. Oops, wow, okay, oof. It's really nice fan art. Oh yeah, Francis is always on the toilet. I think he has problems. And this is our nice little bathtub with working faucets and a shower head. And then we have a little bottle of soap over here and our sinks and some shelves. Yay, we finally finished our house. Next, I want to go with Unknown and we're going to go find some tridents. Let's go meet up with him and hopefully we get lucky. Oh, bunch of drowned. Right up ahead. Aha. Oh, I hear a trident. I see the trident. I see him. Come to mama. Did I get it? No. Oh. I need my brush for this. I got found a big, what looks like a big underwater cave, but. I can't really tell until I go down, but I can't go down because it's too far down. We have to get your respiration. I have to take well, a Well, I'm, step I'm not enchanting armor. The problem is I'm not enchanting armor until I get an armor set I like. So I'm not just wasting levels. Oh. Oh, I got a totem of that's why I have. That's why I haven't enchanted any uh, armor. Come but to me. But it seems like at nighttime. 
But it looks like at nighttime, uh, yeah, they spawn a lot more prominent. So nighttime would be the best time for this. Okay. Sweet. I just got. Because I can see. It. I can see it. Oh. I one. just got a bar guardian fossil body and skull. Is he? I got a trident guy down me. I got a trident guy on me too. Don't make all your tridents. Wait. No, no trident. I gotta try Going for a drown too right now. You got a I trident? Have a trident. <gasps> yeah. Low durability, but I got one. It's okay, you just put mending on it. Be right to his rain. I have channeling. You just need loyalty. I tried it, guy. Zigzag. Nice. Zigzag. Did I just get a... Did I just... I got one! Woo! Oh, Ralph. After finally getting a trident, me and Unknown went to the nether to mine some ancient debris. At the end, we would split both of our hulls to make some epic Minecraft dungeon armors. Next morning. So I thought I'd skip all the boring parts of enchanting this. It took me a couple hours, but Iganuggin, and we have respiration three, anvil protection four, mending and breaking three, and burning three. So that's pretty good. And then on the next one here, this is my Walmart crop top. We have protection four, burning three, fire focus three, mending, unbreaking, and snowball. My comfy pajama pantaloons, <laughs> protection four, mending, and breaking three, sniff streaks three, thorns three, and chilling three. And then my feetsy weetsies, we have depth strider three, protection four, feather falling four, mending, and breaking, and chilling three. So we're pretty much all set up. <laughs> also, we have the goat stuff just for. Uh, cosmetic purposes <laughs> and my little chicken plushie of course gotta have that gotta be super cute and ready for battle also we have my spaghetti fork with loyalty impaling channeling and mending on it so we can go hunt for heads <laughs> so that's my new armor also we have uh, a bunch of cosmetic ones this one comes from the wandering trader and I'm not quite done yet but we also have ocelot one we have a squid one here and then we have well that one just for show this one we won't ask how it was made and then those two are OG starter gear recently we got a new member oof she's the one who made that awesome fan art make sure to check out her videos the link will be in the description now, we're going to fight some bosses with everybody from the Boss of Mass Destruction mod. No dilly-dallying! So, the next few boss fights, for some reason, the audio went all scratchy. I'm still learning and tried to fix it as best I could, but unfortunately our friends still sound a little robotic. But I still thought the boss fights were cool, so hopefully you still enjoy. And if it's too much, you can always skip past it. <laughs> this is cool, though. Imagine making this your starter base. <laughs> you totally could.
Do it, Queen. <laughs> uh oh. There he is. Oh, it's a big hand. Oh, I get him. So you have to get the eye. You have to hit him in the eyeball? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's punching me. I'm being targeted. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, oh jeez. Oh, well, he's doing something. Oh, I got it. Woo, nice. Oh. If you see pink things coming around you, it's the spikes. Like that. So run if you see them come up on you. Oh, we can just shoot it from up here. <laughs> oh, she's going underground. Wait. It, it deflects like that, so don't shoot. Okay. It's underground like that, and it deflects. It's like healing. We yeah, we're supposed to destroy the, those spores. Yeah, we have to take these spores. So we have to get down there. <laughs> Do we need another bucket, water Got bucket? Him. Ooh, diamonds. No, no, no it's the spikes. The spikes. Watch out for the spikes. I'm getting them, guys. Don't worry. Alright. Oh, this one's like blocked. I'm down here. Bubbling. Gotcha. Oh. Ouch. Got him. Okay, I think that's it. Hey, no. Get out. Why down here? Get it. Thank you. Just... Hey. Nice. Oh, did I get it? Another, another easy boss. Yay. Yeah. Those bosses were a lot of fun. That's the bosses of mass destruction mod that they came from. We have plans for them in the future. But right now we're gonna go meet up with Kitten Schnitzel and Gojira to go fight a wither. We need a beacon. <laughs> so let's go. Maybe if I hit this with it, it'll help the chicken spawn. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it did, actually. That was hilarious. Oh no! Don't let them die in this hole. Uh, a chicken they head. Work as well. <laughs> chicken head. <laughs> Look. You can find those in my garbage all the time. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> wait. Wait. I'm so metal. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of us. I gotta okay. Take Sis, get in here. I had to take Hold a on. screenshot. I'm stuck in the chicken poop. Uh oh, you can jump for it. Yep. I am so. Oh my god! And you with the funny head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And the pillagers funny in the head. background. That's hilarious. Okay. Some roses yeah. for our gardens. Yes, and <laughs> I got this recorded live, so it's proof. Yep. I'm oh, recording. Shoot. Ah! Oh, run, 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 Why sis! Am I why aren't you running? <laughs> is the question. Why are you running? Ha -ha. Oh, oh. One hour later. The... Oh shit. Uh. Oh sis. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh no, did you guys both die? Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. Six and a half hours later. Now that we got our beacon, we can set up or set it up over here. Hopefully, it'll help us in the future to diggy dig all our digging needs. <laughs> I have a really big project coming up. Not gonna tell you yet, but definitely gonna need this.
Yay! Bring home the beacon and beaconator achievements. Now that we got all the adventuring and stuff out of our system, I'd like to go over and finish our areas. So let's go. I really wanted to change up that memorial for a while and I made a really derpy looking villager statue there. Now we're going to work on the beach. First off, we're going to finish this parasail. Make it with trapdoors and then carpet on top. And then we can go work on detailing a bunch of the other stuff along the beach and do our waste stone area and a few other things. One step at a time, or one parasol at a time. <laughs> I think this is going to look pretty cute. I also wanted to add some custom palm trees to add some life to this area as well. I'm still kind of a novice at this, but I'm getting better. We'll see how it looks in the end. <laughs> one block at a time. Oh! <laughs> Where's the get a ball? Oh, I better sleep before we get attacked by a creeper and ruin all our progress. I didn't like the initial shape, so I'm reforming it a little bit here. <laughs> we'll see how it looks in the end. Mm. Gotta make the trunk a little bit different here. It'll take some time. We'll shape it, and eventually we'll get something we like. <laughs> I feel like it should be leaning off to this way. Let's see, you need some dirt to fill in. Make it look more and more like a tree trunk. We'll put this. Now that I have a shape for the tree trunk, I'm going to add some leaves here. Just start with a very simple shape and work from there. Keep molding it until I find something that I like here. You start with this. And I think palm leaves point down, so we'll put some dirt and work our way down with this. And then go on this corner. There, this part of the area is almost done. We moved the waste stone into this gazebo behind me here. Take a quick look. I made it all overgrown with pretty flowers and stuff. And then I put the enchanting set up back here for now. Eventually we'll build something better for it one thing at a time and I put on all these cute benches just to fill in the area these are palm trees they turned out pretty cool and our new memorial for all the fallen <laughs> raid fairies then we put little iron chairs and stuff we'll have to put drinks on there later and Panda told or came up with a good idea to put sleeping bags which looks really good and then the parasol and then I put blocks around the area just to line it and more palm trees and then over here I added flowers and stuff just little details to make the yard a little nicer and I added a nice tree and some flowers around that to frame it so yeah I think it's looking pretty good very well detailed we'll have to work on a few more small details as we go and I did the road only up to here, though. <laughs> we'll have to do that in another episode. Right there. See ya. And then eventually we'll put some more details in the farm. But so far I'm really, really happy with all the progress that we've made and how this area is coming together. It's looking really nice. Well, in my opinion. <laughs> I think it looks pretty, pretty cute. Like, look at that. But that's all the time we have today. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that. It's free and it helps me out a lot. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Toodaloo.
Solón.